This is going to be lot 8, 1-2 crossbred barrow. Who am I? Tricked out in there before. Uh, kind of lined up the tricked out stuff there. Uh, this would be the first letter out of Who Am I here at the house, and, and we're excited uh, about his future here, and we're going to use him a lot this uh, this coming summer on, on a bunch of sows and kind of figuring out how to use him. But uh, i tell you what, when I when I kept that boar, it was one that I thought I uh, I thought that, oh, he'll make them like this, and he did. Uh, he made them hairy, and he made them stout-featured and short-backed. You know, this one, uh, when he gets out and really starts motoring and gives you that look from the side, uh, that's that's the ones we're trying to make, I suppose. Uh, and then you get on top of him. He's he's maybe not the biggest-backed one here in this offering, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. <laughs> that's a little <laughs> a jump around there, but that's okay. Uh, and I don't know if this one considered a, a light cross or not because he's got a little black dot on his face. But uh, depending on your, your regulations or the rules there, he might consider a light cross. But uh, either way, uh, tell you what, proportion-wise, you study his, his hind leg and how it flexes and goes and, and gets out and moves. And he does have a, a, a just a tiny bit of swelling there underneath his, uh, his underline there. And he had a retained testicle that we had removed a while back and it's uh, probably a couple weeks ago now but they're not even but uh it's it's pretty much gone and we'll guarantee him of course uh if anything happens but uh it's it should be cleared up within the end of the week but it doesn't take away from the quality of this barrel uh probably one of the my fair, favorite barrels in this group just because uh his color pattern and i like him to look like that with that big a forearm and look yeah i think you talk about a, a hairy uh, hairy calico barrel that is so extended from his, about his front end and awesome looking from the side. I mean, that's one that catches anybody's attention. It, you know, he's going to be big legged and, and, and off colored. And man, that's one that everybody can, I think, tie into and appreciate a lot of things about. Um, really smooth and complete as he gets out and goes. You know, one that just really flows when he, when he gets out. Yeah, and uh, you know maybe we didn't talk about maybe uh, how to feed this one, and you can feed him how you want. But if it's me, uh, this one uh, has, uh, has a long window of show period. If uh, he's can he can show a long period of time, get him out early or in the middle of the jackpot season, and and get him tuned in, and then uh, you know push him towards the later end of the the show career and win the middleweights. You know, and because he's he's one that's not necessarily going to grow the fastest. And I think you know the way we're making crossbreds nowadays, it's it's not necessarily super fast growing hogs anymore. But uh, I like this one's feedability. And, and I know uh, how he'll mature. So uh, if you get this one on the feed bucket, I think you'll be excited. That's going to be lot eight, one dash two, crossbred barrow.